Hi there, Julie here with 365.training and I am honored to present to you Miriam Fatima or she's going to give us a run through of using Plan Designer. She'll share with us our business use case scenario. She'll walk you through using the Plan Designer tool and data modeling, user stories, all of those cool things. So listen on and learn about Plan Designer. Hello everyone, my name is Miriam Fatima and today I'm going to demo Plan Designer. Plan Designer is a very, very powerful tool, recently added to the tools that we can use to simplify our lives. Prior to Plan Designer, we had a way to use prompts to create a Canvas app. But what Plan Designer does for us, it gives us a thousand foot view of the entire solution from start to end, identifies the user roles for us, suggests user stories, also suggest the data model and the user experience we may need to support the business problem we're trying to solve. Let's start from make.powerapps.com. And before you start, make sure that your Power Apps experience toggle is turned on. So what it does that once it's on, it gives you the access to the plans tab where all of your, all your existing plans are going to live. And also it's a place from where you can create a new plan. I'm planning today to create a property management app for a property manager who is looking into simplifying his process of managing all of his properties and tenants. I will use this screenshot to feed it into the plan designer. You can also use a screenshot of legacy system that you're trying to improve, or you could use wireframes if you're planning to start from scratch. So I'm going to head back and here I'm ready to create a plan and I'm going to provide a quick description of what I required and will also attach the screenshot I just mentioned to you and we'll hit generate. So at this point, what it does, it takes my description as a business problem and will start identifying the user roles for me. So it has identified two primary user roles, a property manager and a tenant. And you can see it on your right as well as we make progress. So as a property manager, I should be able to add and manage properties, oversee property listings, automate reminders, generate reports, track rental payments, manage lease agreements, receive notif notifications, send payment reminders, receive alerts for maintenance requests, update property details. Looks pretty good. That's awesome. And for a tenant, as a tenant, I should be able to track my rental payments, receive payment reminders, receive updates on rental status, submit maintenance request, view my lease agreements, and receive notification for lease renewals, etc. So this looks pretty good. And what I'm noticing, nowhere in my description or in my, my screenshot or mind map that I attached here that you can see under references, I mentioned about needing a maintenance request, but plan designer was smart enough to look into those details and suggest me new points that I should consider while creating this application. So this looks pretty good and it's exactly what I was looking for. I have a choice now to accept this as is or make a change by clicking on the change button. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the change button and we'll use the description box and we'll suggest change. So add a dashboard for the property manager. So I want to give a dashboard to the property manager where he can see all of his properties and their insights and we'll hit save. And now plan designer is going to readjust based on my changes, my requested changes. And now you can see it's populating the pointers for me. And I see that it has added this new pointer, access a dashboard to get inside on all properties so that I can manage them efficiently. I'm going to keep this and will also accept the changes. So I'm ready to move to the next phase. So now I am in on my next phase where a plan designer has quickly identified the data model for me, the, the tables I need. So the first one, it suggested that I need a property table where I can keep a list of all of my properties and a table for property manager in case the property manager wants to expand and wants to add more managers. So this is a table where I can keep all that information, a list or a table for all my tenants, a table for all my rental payments, a table for lease agreements and a table for maintenance requests. 
So this looks pretty good. I can further expand it by clicking on show details where I can see the relationship between all of these tables. I see that my property manager table is tied with my properties. So all the properties will be tied back to the property managers. And then they are further tied with all the tenants. And those the tenant table is further linked with the maintenance request, rental payment and lease agreement table. This looks exactly what I was looking for. I'm very happy with the data model and I can now head back and accept this change. So now the next step is for plan designer to suggest me the user experiences that I required where what kind of application that I may need. And as you can see that it has started populating uh, the suggestions for me. So it has suggested that I should have a model driven app for a property management portal where I'll keep everything centralized. So this is aligned with my requirements. A Canvas app for the tenant portal app, a power automate flow for rental payment reminder, another power automate flow for lease expiration notification, one more power automate flow for maintenance request alert. There is one more model driven app that, that it has suggested that I should have for rental income report app. Uh, another power automate flow for rental status update flow. So as you can see that this is a very powerful tool to kind of give you the foundation of the of your entire process of getting to the solution. But I still need to make my own judgment on uh, calling out what exactly I need for this solution. So I'm going to go ahead and make a change. And I'm going to suggest that combine all model driven apps while keeping the canon portal on the canvas app and i would also like combine all those into one and now it is going to take my request to to combine all my model driven app and will suggest based on what i requested now i have one uh, application one model driven app for all my property a centralized view for my property manager to access it so that looks pretty good I have one Canvas app for my tenants so that they can access it from the mobile device. And I have a unified flow for all my flows to live in one, one flow. So this looks exactly what I was looking for. I'm also able to hover on this icon and see the user roles which are tied with these user experiences and tables that are going to feed them. And now I'm ready to keep this change and accept it. So now as my next step, I would be required to save all the tables that a plan designer has suggested me. And after saving, hitting the save uh, button, it will ask me what I should name my solution. So I'm gonna call it property management app, we'll hit save. And now it will take some time for generate those tables into the solution. And once they are generated, I will have a plus icon appear here in front of each of these apps so that I can provision these applications. So now you can see that while it's saving, I can see these plus icons appeared in front of these applications, but not on the Power Automate flow. And the reason is that right now, at this point of time, we do not have the ability to create a flow right from the plan designer. So now give it some time while it's saving and we can hit on the plus icon to provision these applications. Okay, I see my model driven app has been successfully provisioned. I can see all my tables here. It has also added uh, some sample data for me to review. At any given time, I can make any changes to any of these tables and the columns. So it's a great start for me from here to polish it further and adjust it according to my requirements. Let's jump to our Canvas app. My Canvas app also has a welcome screen and all the tables that I required that my tenant will use, such as the leak agreement screen, the maintenance request screen, and the tenant screen itself. And again, I have now the foundation to further uh, polish this application and make the changes that I need. So this is all I wanted to show you today. I hope you like the presentation and do use it. it. It is a very, very powerful tool and I'm so glad that we have it now. Thank you very much.